swing shield at Peel's Golf Club and what I'm going to talk about is our, our more, more information about how we can improve our golf shots in general with irons with a more solid hit. So what we're going to focus on today is hand position and shaft position and weight position at impact. So what we need to try and do is a lot of golfers that struggle with ball striking, what they'll do is they'll do the complete opposite. So as they come into impact, their hands are behind their shaft, they've got, or behind the club shaft, they've got reduced shaft lean and their hands are almost in this position. So their weight's in their right foot. So what we need to try and encourage is we need to try and get our hands ahead of impact, a sharp, more shaft lean, and try and get the weight on our left side. So what we need to try and focus on is everything needs to move forward. So a lot of golfers should try and scoop the ball. What they'll do is they'll move the ball position too far forward, but they'll try and lift it up from there. So if you move the ball position slightly far forward and you try and scoop it, you're going to almost come over the golf ball or fresh it completely. You'll spill it a lot. So what you need to try and do is try and understand that in order for us to get the golf ball up in the air, we need to apply pressure down the way with more shaft lean. So the more shaft lean we create, not necessarily going to increase our ball flight by any means, but it's going to try and get, if our hands are leading an impact, we can increase power because our hands are working as a unit. Whereas if you come here, where our hands are slightly behind the impact, or slightly behind the club head, we'll just scoop it from there. The club, the hands travel a short distance anyway. So if I was to do this, the hands even travel such a short distance. But if my hands are leading an impact, or they're slightly further ahead compared to my left, or slightly in line with my left hip, as opposed to my, my hands being in line with my right hip. If I get my hands forward, then my hands travel a longer distance, if that sounds right. So if my hands here, obviously your hands stop into impact, then the club head takes over because of the weight of the club head. But what happens is, club head comes into impact, hands travel a short distance, and they stop, and then the club head sort of rises up the way. Because everything's rising up the way, no weight's going forward, so if we can try and get more shaft lean, or more forward shaft and at address. So from this angle, get hands more ahead, get our hands almost that flat left wrist position where our left wrist shouldn't break down. The ideal shot is, or what in, is encouraged is we try and hit the golf ball with a flat left wrist so there's no breakdown between the left wrist and club, patch, club shaft. So if we get in this position where our weight's going back, or our weight remains back, club head rises up, hands are quite high, then we're going to scoop it want to make contact with the bottom of the club face. So what we need to try and do is get more shaft lean, get more forward shaft lean, hands forward, get our weight more on the left foot. That will encourage us to, to, in order for us to start down, we have to plant weight on that left foot by starting with weight on the left foot. It will allow us to get our hands. So if we turn our body correctly, our arms will move our pivot. So our arms will move in the direction of our pivot. That will get our hands ahead, club head, slightly behind our hands, more forward shaft lean, we'll be able to hit down on the golf ball. So, what we need to do, in order for us, we need to apply more pressure on the grip. So, if we apply more pressure on the grip, then we'll be allowed to hit down on the golf Not say, mis hitting down that's a bit misconstrued. I would say just apply pressure down the way, in order for us to get the ball up. So, hands ahead, so the ideal impact position, the ideal address position we should have is our hands slightly forward, ball position almost in the middle of, say I'm hitting a 50 degrees wedge here, weight forward, and as we come into that, the ideal impact position is hands forward, and then my hip should be almost facing towards the target, so front down the line, so instead of here, when my body's, upper body's tilted away from the target, get the left hip out this way, because that will allow my hands to move in the direction of my hips staying. So if I turn this left hip, it's basically, it's like a chain reaction. So my hips go left, my, my body, my core will be able to, or my abdomen, sorry, will be able to turn in relation to my hips. So if they don't, my hips don't turn, then my hands are kind of staying up here, staying up there, lingering outside the swing pad. So turn left hip out of the way, hands ahead, club head, almost, in line with my my left hip coming through, hands are bleeding, you get that increased increased distance and you'll get more height on the golf. So we're applying more pressure down the way, 
which gets us understanding what we need to do in order to improve our consistency. So, if we can get our hands ahead at impact, what that will do is it will increase compression, consistency, and it will make the club taste slightly bigger. So, if we're doing this, if we're scooping, then the only con point of contact is off the bottom of the club. So, if we try and get our hands ahead, so what I mean by more shaftly, hands forward, the butt end of the club should be leading into impact instead of this way, where the butt end is behind and the club head is leading. Get more forward shaftly, apply more pressure on the butt end of the club, what that will do is it apply more pressure down the way, and if we apply more pressure down the way, it's physics, so the more pressure, let's say we're throwing something into a, in a, into a, a puddle. So let's say we've got a heavy stone and a, a light stone. So if we throw the heavy stone in, compared to the light stone, what you'll see is you'll get a bigger splash with the heavier stone and a small splash with the, the small stone. So that's kind of the same, that's kind of like a way to look at it. It's the same complexion as golf swing. So the more pressure we apply down the way, so this is the big stone, then the more the ball's going up there, that's the bigger splash. So the lighter, the lighter the splash, or the lighter the pressure we apply down the way, the lighter the splash, and the load of ball flick. So if you've got any thoughts on that, so we need to try and get hands ahead of impact to try and increase our consistency and compression into the golf ball. So if you've got any thoughts on that video, get hands ahead, it'll help the swing function properly. None of this where we're trying to scoop, and then we're increasing lift, we're trying to increase lift, sorry, by doing that. So it's the opposite to that. So we need to apply pressure down the way, I get the hands ahead to try and, or not necessarily steep an angle of attack, but we need to try and get hands into impact, to try and apply pressure down the way, to try and get the ball to go up in there. So if you've got any thoughts on that video, so apply pressure down the way to get the ball up in there, hands ahead to try and maximise distance and forward.